Hello again, Imelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually, thank you. I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. <sighs> anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. <laughs> Get ready to lose, Gryffindor. Like it. Pretty flying, if I do say so myself. say so myself. That was quite something. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. Do you get your competitiveness from your family? <laughs> you could say that. My grandfather played Quidditch for Puddlemere United, and my father, well, he was a chaser for Slytherin, but had to stop after a curse took his knees out. Said it was the Gryffindor beater. And me? I fell in love with flying the first time I saw the ground disappear beneath my feet. Something about the freedom you feel on a brim. I've not been able to stop since. I take it you want to play for a team, but which one? And which position? I'm my father's girl. A chaser through and through. 
You'd know that if Black hadn't cancelled Quidditch this year. As for a team, it's the holy head harpies I've always dreamt of. When I'm finished with school, I'll try out. If for some reason I don't get accepted, I don't know what I'll do. Herbology, perhaps? Because if that did happen, <laughs> you might as well pop me and call me a mandrake. I'd never stop screaming. It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here, fifth year. <laughs> Not bad for a Gryffindor. You take care of yourself. I should let Mr. Weeks know that this was his best upgrade yet. Meet, here I come. How's my favourite test flyer? Hello again, Mr. Weeks. I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic! Your broom performed well then. The best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully, incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course! Should have anticipated that. Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you. At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade. What will you do after the final upgrade is complete? I aim to make spint witches the most sought after shop in Ogsmead. And I wouldn't mind getting back on a broom myself, just for the thrill of it. Couldn't be more pleased we made headway with the upgrades, proved the naysayers wrong, made all the hard work worth it. I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. Couldn't have done this without you. Good for Mr. Weeks. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team.
There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. Sebastian has gone too far. You saw what lies in the catacomb. I cannot stay here. Wait, Anne, please. Ominous. He was willing to put the whole hamlet and himself in danger on the chance that some old relic could help to heal me. I'm sorry, Ominous. Make sure he's all right, will you? I'm glad you're here. I received your owl. Where's Sebastian? Inside the catacomb. Frankly, I was surprised you weren't with him. Ominous, I... Stop! You swore you wouldn't let Sebastian take this one step further. Yet here we are. He won't listen to reason. I should have stopped him before. Sebastian's in real trouble now. I'm going back into the catacomb to find him. Anne's right. He and the entire hamlet are in danger. The place is crawling with Inferi. Inferi? What are you talking about? You'll see. We need to hurry. I'm truly awed by what we've accomplished. The final broom upgrade is better than even I expected. Stop by Spintwitch's when... Last time we were here, this place was crawling with spiders. We're about to face worse. Let's find Sebastian quickly. Where was Sebastian when you and Anne found him? Just ahead, in the great room. No sign of Sebastian.
I was so worried about Sebastian, I didn't even realize. Anne's gone to get Solomon. When she first saw the Inferi, she thought Sebastian was being attacked. But then he showed her the relic and said he'd learned how to use it. The carvings on the relic were Inferi, and Sebastian somehow created them. Not exactly. He's controlling them. This is powerful dark magic. Creating Inferi is incredibly difficult, but controlling them... As Anne and I frantically barricaded the Inferi to keep them from escaping, Sebastian kept mumbling about healing Anne. When Anne said she couldn't stay here, I didn't realize what she meant. Solomon threatened to go to the headmaster if he heard of Sebastian dealing with dark magic. I need to get to Hogwarts. I must get to Professor Black first. Twist the story a bit, make him think it's a family fight. I'll be back as soon as I can. See if you can talk some sense into Sebastian. Be careful. Revelio. How many inferior? The Inferi, they're everywhere.
Rebellion. I need to find a way up that ledge. Action. Repair it. Sebastian. Isn't this incredible? Sebastian, I told you, the relic is the answer. I've been trying to reverse the dark magic that injured Anne, but this will allow me to control it. Just as I can control the Inferi. Control? I had to fight the Inferi all the way. What have the two of you done? Accio Relic!
Sebastian, you must stop! Ah, I won't let her suffer! Avala Kadabra! Done. I must get out of here. I can't let him leave. Sebastian, wait. Stop, Sebastian. Hold on. What is it?
Why wouldn't you stop? I was calling after you. Anne won't survive this. She's withering away, inside and out. Solomon's never been there for us, not really. He gave up on Anne. I'll never give up on her. You saw him, didn't you? He was going to ruin her life. He attacked us. I... I had to use the killing curse. You know I did. If I hadn't known how to cast it... You went too far, Sebastian. I... I can't think right now. I need to leave. I can't stay here. I need to find Ominous. Sebastian. Please, I'm not myself right now. Let's meet later at the Undercroft, all right? The headmaster shows no compassion. I deserve the location of all his Professor Weasley, you wanted to see me? I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since... I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. But I can assure you that he would want us to press on, and that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year, both inside and outside of Hogwarts. I've heard all sorts of rumors. You've ridden a raphorn, befriended a goblin, rescued hippogriffs, even somehow ingratiated yourself with the headless hunt. How did you... It's harder to keep secrets around here than one might suspect. No need to discuss it further. What I would like to discuss is your wizard's field guide. May I see it? Of course. What do you think, Professor? I think you've been busy this year. I see some progress here, but quite a bit of your field guide has yet to be completed. Fortunately, you do have some time to prepare for your OWLs. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in late to the sorting ceremony. I am pleased to see that my instincts were correct. To think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your OWLs, well, it's nothing short of astonishing. Thank you, Professor, for everything. You are most welcome. I look forward to seeing what you do during the rest of your time with us.
Incendiary. without you. What are you up to now? I don't think I can do this now. Best to come back. No! Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Hello, pardon me. Hello there. Was there something you needed? Hello. I was wondering if you would be interested in having your own shop and a house elf to help you with it. Penny's the name. Penny's mistress is selling this shop. And Penny is most eager to start working with the new owner. It might surprise you to know that Penny can sell practically anything. Oh, it would be wonderful to have a place to sell things and someone to help me. You'll be able to give Penny almost anything that you want to sell. It will be no work at all for you once the shop is up and running. If you want the shop and Penny hopes that you do, you should talk to Penny's mistress as soon as you can. Her name is Cassandra Mason. Why is your mistress selling the shop? And you? Mm, Penny cannot be certain as Mistress Mason so rarely confides in her. Mm, however, she repeatedly mentions how tired she has become of trying to let the shop. She has had rotten bad luck with the last few tenants. Are you all right? Are you holding your breath? <sighs> Penny's fine. Sometimes Penny simply needs to remind herself to stop talking. Why are the premises in such disarray? Oh, the previous tenants were not mm, able to manage very well. They seem to have given up rather quickly. <gasps> Penny's per 
perfectly capable of helping clean and repair, so the shop will be ready for business in no time. <laughs> All right. I shall go and find Madame Mason. Oh, this is splendid news indeed. You won't be sorry. You can find Mistress Mason at her home on the north edge of the village. Penny does hope she gets to work with you. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Hello, Madam Mason. I understand you have a shop to sell. Why, yes. Yes, I do. Are you interested? Yes, I am. I've always wanted to own a shop. How marvellous. I think you will find my terms quite generous. But, and do please forgive me for asking, don't you think you might be a tad young to own a shop? I have a knack for this sort of thing, if I do say so myself. If I can meet your terms, I hope that you'll sell to me. Well, I reckon you have the confidence needed for such a venture. And of course you'll have Penny to help you. That elf could sell tea to a troll. I assume she told you she comes with the place. She did indeed. I like you. Tell you what, I shall sell you the space for an exceedingly fair price. I think you might just be shrewd enough to make a go of it. Hmm. An exceedingly fair price for a shop and an elf. What's the catch? Ha! Huh? You are wise to be wary in business dealings. No catch, really. I simply ask that you allow me to do you the favour of buying the shop back. At a discount, of course, should your efforts fail. The last thing we need here in Hogsmeade is for one bad apple to spoil the barrel, if you get my meaning. Yes. An unsuccessful shop would be bad for nearby businesses, I'd imagine. Quick one, you are. Do we have a deal? The shop seems to be in an ideal location. Why has no one purchased it yet? It is indeed. But I've just decided to sell. I've grown weary of being a landlady. My late husband was the one with a passion for shopkeeping and business in general. You'd be wise to take advantage of this opportunity before the offers start rolling in. It does sound intriguing, but I need to consider my finances first. I'll come and find you if I'm interested. Very well, but I won't be able to keep the shop available for too long. If you do want the shop, I'd advise you to return to me as soon as possible.